pills. These are methods used nowadays for preserving food. In these methods, technology is used in preserving food. Pupils, examples of the modern methods of preserving food are canning, use of low temperature, freezing, and uh, drying. Pupils, I want to explain each of the methods of preserving food, starting with the number one, canning. Pupils, this is a method of putting foods and uh, drinks in bottles or cans. Canning is done in factories where food is heated under very high extreme temperatures and uh, cooled very fast to kill charms and remove air. Pupils, containers are sealed and expiry date indicated meaning that a certain food period of time. Pupils, containers are, are, are used, sealed, and expiry date indicated meaning that canned food usually go bad after a certain period of time. Example of canned food include fish, meat, beans, sweets, fruits, and uh, juice. Pupils, we move to the second method of preserving food, that is use of low temperature. Pupils, food stored at low temperatures remain fresh for a long time. Machines called refrigerators are used to keep food at very low temperatures of between 0 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. At low temperature, bacteria become inactive, hence they cannot multiply. Pupils, when storing foods in large quantities, special facilities called cold rooms are used. These facilities are commonly used in factories, hospitals, and uh, schools. Example of food stored in refrigerators are vegetables, milk, meat, fish, cooked foods, and uh, fruits. Pupils, we move to number three. Freezing. Pupils, what is freezing? Yes, freezing is, is a special machine called freezers. Special machines called freezers are used to prevent the bacteria from growing and multiplying. multiplying. Most refrigerators have a distinct cabinet called the deep freezer. Pupils, the food is stored at a very low temperature below zero degrees Celsius. Pupils, foods preserved in the freezers include milk, meat, fish, and uh, cooked food. Number four, drying. Pupils, drying is, is, is done at home and uh, in factories. In factories, coffee berries, rice, wheat, and the tea leaves are dried using modern dryers 
to remove water before packing pupils drying and the use of low temperature are both traditional and modern methods of preserving food pupils other minor methods of preservation include one pickling fruits and vegetables in vinegar two addition of chemicals such as sulfur dioxide and benzoic acid into fruit juices three adding sugar syrup to fruits such as peaches apples and lemons pupils we move now to proper storage of foods pupils during the harvesting season foods from plants are in plenty and they cannot be consumed all at once so most of them are perishable when i say perishable these are goods these are foods which go very bad very quickly that is they go bad within a very very short time pupils most animals products are also perishable to avoid waste of animal and plant products which are perishable there is need to store them properly pupils the following are important actions we should take to be able to store food properly one all cooked food should be covered with airtight lids two dried foods should be stored watertight containers watertight containers meaning water cannot enter water cannot penetrate three grains such as maize beans peas millet and sorghum should be dried thoroughly before being stored in well ventilated granaries or food stores five four milk should be boiled cold and then put in clean well covered containers inside the refrigerator pupils lastly fruits like bananas should be stored in a cool dry place to regulate the ripening process bananas do not ripen well under warm conditions pupils that brings us to the end of our today's science lesson i urge you to listen to the explanation of methods of preserving food so that you are in a position of tackling any question from methods of preserving food until next time when we are going to have another topic i will send you questions through whatsapp on food and nutrition and the next time i wish you a nice blessed day full of allah's blessings assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh